Russia may soon declare new mobilization to prepare for a new offensive. Financial Times. By the end of 2024, beginning of 2025, a new wave of partial mobilization may be announced in Russia. According to the Financial Times, in September 2022, Russian ruler Vladimir Putin signed a decree on the mobilization of 300,000 people, which caused serious unrest in Russian society. Since then, the Kremlin has been trying to convince men to sign contracts. According to UK Ministry of Defence estimates, the aggressor country recruits about 30,000 to 40,000 soldiers every month. Despite heavy losses, the occupying army is now 15% larger than when the full-scale war began. Financial incentives that raised military salaries to unprecedented levels played the biggest role in persuading Russians to go to war. Chairman of the National Security and Defense Council of Ukraine, Alexander Litvinenko, noted that Russia recruited more than 385,000 soldiers last year. According to the commander of the Achilles Drone Battalion, Yuri Fedorenko, the invaders continue to storm the positions of the Ukrainian armed forces with all available personnel. The enemy has enormous economic, military, industrial and personnel resources, the fighter said. He added that Ukraine is paying a very high price to remain on the defensive. The Russians learned from their mistakes and returned to the Soviet-style military approach. It is expected that to maintain an advantage on the battlefield, the aggressor country may soon have to go beyond its established recruitment strategy, since without this, it will not be possible to carry out a new major offensive. By the end of this year, or the beginning of next year, a new wave of partial mobilization will become inevitable, the source told reporters. According to him, Russian authorities are still willing to sacrifice some operational successes at the front so that Russians face less war. Military expert, instructor, pilot and reserve colonel of the armed forces of Ukraine, Roman Zvitan, recently stated that Putin intends to mobilize another 300,000 people by June the 1st, 2024, to send them to Ukraine for slaughter. The Kremlin leader is planning a complete occupation of at least five regions of Ukraine. As Bloomberg writes, Citing informed sources, Russia is preparing to recruit more contract soldiers into the army in order, at least for now, to avoid another mass conscription that could undermine public support for the war in Ukraine. The Kremlin is keen not to repeat the September 2022 mobilization, which shook public confidence and prompted the flight of a million Russians from the country. Russia uses banned chemical weapons in battles along the entire front line. Russia is using banned chemical weapons, specifically chloropicrin gas, in battles along the entire front line in Ukraine with the goal of weakening the ability of Ukrainian troops to defend fortified positions and even forcing them to retreat. According to the Wall Street Journal, American and Ukrainian officials, as well as doctors, Soldiers and international researchers say Russia's use of banned chemical weapons on the battlefield is becoming more frequent as Moscow ramps up its offensive. Earlier this month, the United States announced sanctions against Russian companies and government agencies involved in the creation and supply of chemical weapons used at the front, specifically highlighting chloropicrin. The chemical, sometimes used in pesticides, was introduced into service during World War I and banned for use in combat by the Chemical Weapons Convention, which Russia is a signatory to. Dan Kazeta, a chemical weapons expert and associate researcher at the Royal United Services Institute think tank in London, says chloropicrin is toxic to humans and animals and also acts as an irritant. Depending on the degree of exposure, the gas can burn your skin, irritate your tear ducts and make it difficult to breathe, not to mention protect you from attackers. The chemical has been replaced by more modern substances sometimes used by police as tear gas known as CN and CS, which are also banned by the convention, Cassetta said. According to Captain Dmitry Sergienko, assistant commander of the Analytical Center of the Ukrainian Army Support Forces, which analyzes the use of chemical weapons at the front, all three of these substances are used by the Russians on the battlefield. Although his group mainly records the use of CN and CS in the area that they are tracking, they also found two grenades containing chloropicrin at abandoned Russian positions, writes the Wall Street Journal. The Ukrainians have been monitoring the use of chemical weapons at the front since February 2023, and the number of confirmed incidents has been steadily increasing. As of May the 3rd, the support forces had confirmed 1,891 such attacks since data tracking began 
444 of them in April, an increase of 71 confirmed incidents from the month before. These numbers are an incomplete picture because the intensity of the fighting often makes it impossible to get to the site where the gas was used to take samples or interview soldiers. The Wall Street Journal notes, Lieutenant Vitali Katrik, a military medic working at a stabilization point near the front, said there were times when every second patient he treated was exposed to poisonous gas. According to him, once the Russians receive a shipment, they use it constantly until it runs out.